Welcome to Once Upon a Pipe. It is two days before Christmas, December 23rd, 2018. And I have the privilege of being visited by my sister-in-law and her husband, Malcolm. Hello. From Canada. You might remember uh, Alyssa from um, the video we did with her and her sister Rose at Common Grounds um, back over the summer. Um, we are just kind of exploring um, the art of pipes and pipe smoking and tobaccos and such forth. And Malcolm is here to try. He's never had a pipe before. This is true. So I was just telling him about um, some of the parts of my collection and some of the tobacco. So he's going to try for the very first time <laughs> lighting this. The I have to let him know it is absolutely, totally okay for it just to be a complete e experimental process. It does not have to be perfect, okay, you know. So we're not we're not looking for um, perfection here. It's like any other hobby, any other thing that you try. It's okay to to make mistakes. It's trial and error, Mel. Right. Trial and error. Trial and error. So um, yeah, yeah, I've been doing it for. <laughs> uh, now I have to do math. I've been doing it for a long and, time, uh, mm -hmm. and I didn't really even start knowing anything about it until um, a few years ago when I joined the YouTube pipe community. So, um, all right, let's see. Malcolm, by the way, let's do some housekeeping. Um, uh, yes. This morning, I had Peterson's Holiday Special. This is from uh, last year, I think is when I got this. Mm -hmm. And I had that in this Meerschaum pipe. And it is That's excellent. Uh, right now, Malcolm and I have um, it's Hearth and Home Eggnog. Hearth and Home Eggnog. I put it in the Sutliff tin because I needed someplace nice to put it. He has an unsmoked corn cob, and I told him that probably the best thing to try is a good corn cob pipe. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what he's going to try. So let's give it a shot, Malcolm, and see what happens. All right. Let's do this. Yeah, keep blow, keep yeah, blow it in. Hold that light on a little bit more. Move it in a circle. Inhale. You wanna? Uh, mm-hmm. All right, so there's some good smoke. Well, all right, now see how it goes. Keith can keep that lit and then tamp it down just a little bit. And then just be really easy with your draws as you as you uh, inhale on it, nice and easy. I'm not sure I'm seeing any embers. Is that normal? Oh, they're they're there. They're there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, mama. mama. All right. Now see where it's died out. So yeah. now you'll now you'll light it again, and it's okay. Create a little bit of smoke. So you want to maybe do shorter. Uh, so when you do it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Mommy, can you give me some water? There you go. Yeah, you're going to create some smoke. All right. No, I don't. Can you give me some water? Malcolm also was kind enough to, um, this is from uh, London, Ontario. It's called Rob Roy Scotch L. Walkerville Brewery. You can see that guy, he looks like he'd have a good pipe. Probably be smoking a uh, Peterson pipe, no doubt. All right, 
So he's keeping it going there. Just like in Survivor, you know, they have to keep that fire going. Yeah. <laughs> so should it be short? Mm -hmm. Still or not and then, necessarily? And then just, you know, be very deliberate and easy with it. And it's okay if it goes out. You okay. Can, you can relight it. Don't don't fear it going out. If you um, uh, remember when you inhale and that air comes in, it's going to heat that up. But you don't want to overheat it because it'd be like over overcooking your steak. So. So you don't want like billows in a like a blacksmith shop. You're not trying to create a no. roar. No. You will when you probably at, at your first or second light. But after that, you just a nice steady flow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So is that what you were saying? There's a bit of like a tanginess almost on the tongue. Mm -hmm. That's the the bit of a bite you were talking about. Yes. And certain blends will give you more of a bite. Act I've actually found with the Hearth and Home Egg Knot is um, it's very good. It's it's a gentle what I call a, a gentle aromatic in terms of um, uh, tongue bite. Um, uh, some of the English blends do a much better job. Like uh, when I say it smokes clean, it just means that it's just a really good burning um, aroma. Um, and there's hardly next to no tongue bite. So this is staying lit clearly mm -hmm. at the moment. It is. Yep. And so as it stays lit, then you can go you can have more time in between your your um, your pops, and that's what leads uh, us to conversation. And if it ever burns out, you just relight it. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And I can feel like the bowl is warm, which I guess you would expect. It would right? be yes. And in certain pipes, for example, the um, clay pipes upstairs, the bowl. Uh, while those pipes smoke extremely well, they will get so warm, I will not be able to touch the bowl. So for those pipes, really? I hold here. Okay. Now, pipes that have a really good briar. Um, I have a Dunhill pipe. Uh, I can smoke the bowl. I mean, it, it it just doesn't get hot at all. That's an excellent, excellent smoke. My Nirup pipes, uh, those pipes are amazing. I've got a couple Nirups. Um, they are extremely good smoking pipes. The balls are in uh, this Mearsham pipe, which is an eBay find. Um, I actually, this pipe is inspired by uh, Bremen pipe smokers. Um, so, hello, Mark. Uh, I know you're pretty busy um, and you make excellent videos, and I thank you for that. Uh, but this this pipe here, when I, I was looking for something. Um, remotely close to what you have. I really couldn't find anything close to what you have, but this by is inspired by you, so thank you, Mark. Daddy, his name's Michael. Uh, that's Malcolm. But Mark is another guy. So um but yeah, this is this is good and this is Malcolm's first shot, so yes, you know. It's I uh, great success so far. And it's a it is a as you can tell this is um it's something that can't be rushed. That's a hobby. Pipe smoking is meant mm. to slow you down. Mm. Um, one of the reasons, one of the reasons, or many reasons, but one of the reasons we do it is because, especially this time of year, everything is so absolutely busy that it's hard to take time and do something that requires patience, that requires you to sit back and concentrate and take your mind off all of the other things going on um, that you can actually enjoy and i was telling malcolm that that for me uh, a lot of times around the home it's a it's a family affair i don't get quiet moments like i used to and um so sometimes it's with little baby girl curled up in my lap Daddy, I'm going to smoke a pipe. and uh you know and the other times when I do it, if uh, not for anything else, is because the kids really enjoy that aroma. Mm. Sometimes I intentionally will not light my pipe until right before I come in the door. Now you know, right when I'm turning on my drive. So when I step in, 
when the aroma finally hits upstairs, hey, daddy's home. And they, kids will not forget um, that smell. Right. And it will be associated with me. And so every time it's like, oh, I remember That's my dad. Cool. That's cool. Yeah. Your sense of smell, I think Amy said, is your strongest sense that stays with you. Right. That so, connects to memories. That connects to memories. Stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I believe exactly. that for sure. So, wow. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, well, thank you for You're introducing welcome. me. You were very welcome. It's very cool. I would like for you guys to wish Malcolm well. I'm not saying this is the start of his pipe smoking career, but since he's he was here and had the opportunity to try, um, I thought, and I will, I will let him take that corn cob home, and that will be a uh, oh, wow. remembrance. And he can also take home this hearth and home <laughs> eggnog, um, <laughs> which is a wonderful blend. Oh, so. Wow. Well, thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. Oh, this is a good experience. Thank you. All right. Merry Christmas, everyone. As always, thank you for tuning in to Once Upon a Pipe. I would like to wish uh, everybody out there in the YouTube pipe community a very Merry Christmas. May God bless you and uh, hope to see you ring in the new year of 2019.